Welcome back to our project series. In this second part, we're taking a crucial step, deploying our faster PI project on AWS. By the end of this video, you'll have your sign language conversion tool accessible to users around the world. Before we dive into AWS, let's ensure our project is well prepared for deployment. The requirements.txt file is essential for specifying project dependencies. We need to generate it within a virtual environment fast API ENV to make sure a WS knows what to install. Here's how. First, activate your virtual environment. Now generate the requirements.txt file. This sequence ensures that you capture the dependencies specific to your project in the requirements.txt file while working within the fast API ANV virtual environment to prevent the virtual environment folder from being included in your GitHub repository. Create a .gitignore file. Here's an example .gitignore file content. This .gitignore file tells Git to ignore the fast API NV folder when you push your code to GitHub. Next, let's make sure our code is backed up and easily accessible. GitHub is an excellent platform for version control and sharing code with others. Open your web browser and go to github.com. Make sure you are logged into your GitHub account. If not, log in or create a new account. Click on the pluses sign in the upper right corner of the GitHub homepage and select New Repository. Enter PWGA2SL as the repository name. Click the Create Repository button. Your new repository PWGA2SL is now created. You'll see instructions on how to push an existing repository from the command line if you already have a project locally. To get started, We'll create a Git repository for our project. Here's how. This initializes a new Git repository in your project directory. Use the following command to stage all the files in your project directory for the initial commit. This tells Git to track all the files and changes. Now let's make our first commit to capture the current state of our project. This initial commit serves as a snapshot of your project's files at this moment. By default, Git uses mast as a branch name. Let's confirm that. This ensures that your main branch is named master. We need to link our local repository to a remote repository on GitHub. Replace the URL below with your GitHub repository URL. This command sets up the connection to your GitHub repository. Finally, let's push our code to GitHub. This command pushes your local master branch to the master branch on your GitHub repository. And there you have it. Your code is now securely stored on GitHub and ready for deployment on AEWS. Now let's start deploying our faster PI application. Open your web browser and go to the AWS Management Console. Click on the Sign In to the Console button. If you already have an AWS account, enter your email address and password and then click the Sign In button else create a new ATS account. Now that you're logged into your AWS account, let's create an EC2 instance where you'll deploy your fast API application. In the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Services menu at the top left corner and click on EC2 under the Compute section. In the AC2 dashboard, click on the Launch Instance button to start the EC2 instance creation wizard. Now follow these steps in the wizard. Click the Launch Instances button to create your EC2 instance. Now click on Connect to connect to your EC2 instance. To connect to instance using IPv4 with browser-based client, select EC2 Instance Connect and click on Connect. You've successfully connected to your EC2 instance. This provides a secure way to manage and deploy your applications on a WS 
Once connected to your AC2 instance, update package manager and install necessary packages. Next, Configure Engine X as a reverse proxy to forward requests to your faster PI application. First install Engine X using sudo apt install engine X. Now open the Engine X server block configuration file for editing with Nano. Now you can proceed to create or edit the Engine X server block configuration within the Nano text editor. Let's make sure to replace your domain name with your actual domain or IP address. Finally, reload Engine X to apply the configuration. Now let's clone your fast API application repository from GitHub. Change directory to our project repository. We need to install all dependencies. Let's do this using following command. Dmux is a terminal multiplexer that allows you to run commands in a detachable session. It's useful for running long running processes, such as your fast API application. Create a new Dmux session named Fast API. Now start your fast API application within the Dmux session. Now open the public IP4 address in browser that we had copied already. We can see our fast API is running and deployed successfully. Congratulations! You've successfully deployed your fast API application on AWS with Nginx as a reverse proxy. You've learned how to set up your AWS account, create an EC2 instance, connect to it, configure Nginx and finally, access your deployed application. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your fellow developers and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials. Thank you for joining me on this deployment journey and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy coding and deploying!